What's going on guys, it's Gary and today guys a new tutorial on how to create kind of an 80s themed, you know, YouTube banner or Twitter header. And this pretty much works for anything and it's a really cool style to learn, a really cool style to do. And it does not take that much stuff to do, it's a, a very bare minimum of layers. You guys can see on the right hand side a bunch of layers, there's all pretty much duplications of stuff and it's not hard to do at all. So let's get right into it. What we're going to do is we're going to open up a new document, 1500 by 500, and you can either put the background to, you know, black, white, doesn't really matter. I'm going to put it to black just for the sake of this, and then I'm going to make, not make, uh, I'm going to go to tournaments, Google, not Twitter, but Google, and I'm going to type in, like, space nebula wallpaper HD. So basically this is going to be our background and we're just going to look around and you can pretty much choose anyone you want. You can actually put the size to large just to find the best kind of quality and the best ones. And you can definitely look around. I'm going to be using this one right here. It's going to be in the description below. It's a widescreen nebula picture and it's just really nice to do. So try to open this actually. Open it. I can just copy it and then I'll paste it in. It's going to be really big. So this is going to be pretty much our background of our space kind of theme for the kind of 80s retro look. And what we're just going to do is just going to filter, blur, and put it to a Gaussian blur. And we're just going to blur it, you know, a lot, like about 7.2-ish. And this creates this kind of like a nice style in the background. And it really helps bring out, you know, everything else that's going to be doing around it. So what else we're going to do is we're going to go right here to our adjustments. We're going to make a hue and saturation. And we're just going to bring the saturation up a little bit just to bring out those blues and purples so it doesn't look like a space background even though we know already it is. And then the second thing we can do, if you guys have it, Phase uh, Studio released a leak pack, kind of like a uh, light leaks, and you can pretty much just drag them in. They're pretty much just like flares and stuff. That's all it really is. It's just like nice flares, and that's all it really is. If you guys want to purchase this, it'll be in the description below. It's not very expensive, and it's definitely worth the purchase. You're going to be using it a lot more than you think. When I first bought it, I thought I was not going to be using it, but, uh, you know, things change. So we can pretty much put those stuff right there. As I said, it's not needed. You know, you take them away, it's not really that big of a difference, except for it's kind of like a little lighting effect. And everything will be in the description that we're going to be talking about. So if we go back to the current one that we made before, the first thing you guys can pretty much be drawn to is either the logos on the side or the circle in the middle. We're going to work with the circle in the middle first, and it's actually really easy to do. We're going to grab the ellipse tool and just make a circle however big you want, and then just center it. So. And if you guys do have Photoshop CC or one of the one of those Photoshops, it definitely like shows you the guidelines. And then we can go to a gradient overlay. And for the gradient overlay, we're going to be using a yellow for the top color and a purple for the bottom color. And then I put the scale to like 92-ish. You don't have to really mess with that too much. And then you're going to go to a inner glow. We've got to find it right here. And for the inner glow, I put it on a, the highest red color that there is. Normal, no opacity really up to you guys you don't really have to match my opacity and this is pretty much going to be the uh the kind of start of it and when you take these light leaks if you're using them you can just put them above it and it helps blend a little bit but uh i'm only gonna put one above it just because it looks a little awkward so the next thing i want to do is pretty much just duplicate this open up the bottom one and then take off the effects and then you're gonna hit Control t make it a lot bigger recenter it and then go to normal and put it to like soft light or something. Where what you can even do is put this below everything and then lower the opacity. After doing this, you're gonna take the polygon tool and you're pretty much gonna cut it up so you can cut like right. Oh, sorry, you gotta rasterize it first. And you can cut it up like right there, 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 and there. And if you want, there's other stuff you guys can put it on, like screen, you guys can put it on overlay. And the overlay does not look that bad, actually. Just lower the opacity a little bit. And you guys have this so far. So it's definitely not something that's really hard to do so yet. And, um, gotta check my phone, keep going off, my Twitter is blowing up right now. But uh, if you go back to the one we're doing right now, definitely not something that's hard to do and it looks very clean. What we're gonna do now is work in the inner circle. So if we go to an 80s pack, if you guys go in the description below, there's gonna be a link to this. Go here and just open it up. This is a really old pack, and you guys can go to like stocks and stuff. And if you go to stocks, there's gonna be a bunch of other stuff that we're gonna be using. If you guys go to background, same thing, noise, exact same thing I was talking about. And what we're gonna grab is we're gonna grab the oh, I'm gonna find it, the scan lines. So we're gonna grab scan lines and we're gonna drag them straight in. 
and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it above the circle, hold control, and so it highlights the circle, and then hit control J on the scan lines. And then you guys can take this and put it on like overlay or something, and then up the opacity. So you guys can do that. You guys can put it on the screen. Overlay. I know what a lot of people do sometimes is they'll put them on, let's just say, I think black. And then they'll lower the opacity some more. So you guys kind of have like a nice style like this. Basically, this is what it looks like. And it's not hard to do, as I'm saying before. And what else are we going to want to do? Let's go back to this. So, we're just going to start adding other stuff, I guess. So basically, what else I want to do is you pretty much as look around the packs. There's really nothing else you can do. You guys can go to stocks. You guys can grab uh, text flares. We're going to be using those later on. We're going to make stars. You can grab the stars, and you guys can bring it in. As I said before, this is basically like a choose your own like way style. You can put that like right there. So pretty much this is what's going on. Nothing too fancy. What you guys want to do, go back in the description and download a particle pack in my light pack. You're going to grab the lighting right here and you're going to put this above it, but you're going to hit control T and you're just going to shrink it a little bit. So it's kind of more of a uh, centered light. And then you go to the particle pack. You guys can grab any particles you want. It's pretty much just adding stuff to fill up space. Just to make stuff look a little nicer. Just like that. And if you go back to, let's just say the particle pack. There's definitely other stuff you guys can add. Like this one. Bring this in. You can just place it around. So that's basically that. We're pretty much having almost everything done so far. Now we're gonna start with the text. The text, what I like doing is I like doing the uh, like the name first. So I'm just gonna put it to, to say Bear Design. Actually, I'm just gonna put it to Gary. A lot easier. You wanna center it into the circle. And then I'm gonna grab a black rectangle. Actually, grab a pink. And then put it behind the text like that. I'll kind of mess with the sides a little bit. Alright, and now that you have the color, if you go back, you guys can see that I use kind of a more brighter color. So, something like this. Duplicate it. And what we're going to do is grab a purple version of this, kind of a more darker feel. Even, maybe even more darker and just put, put it down with the arrow keys like a little bit like that you can do the same thing with the text make sure the text is still white though just because you need to have that uh that kind of like contrast feel grab that purple maybe put it down a little more all right Next thing you guys want to do is take this and then just merge all these uh, rectangles and the text. Go to edit, transform, and per no, put it to skew, and just kind of drag it to the side a little bit because everything in the 80s is always like leaned over, like italicized. And then you guys can recenter that. So basically, what you can do now is go back to the 80s pack and go right here to the stocks, and you guys can start grabbing like text flares and stuff and adding these all around places. You can put one like just say. We're gonna lower the size a little bit. Pull one right there. Control J to duplicate. You can put the size down. Put one on the T. Duplicate it again. Put one on the bottom corner. And you see right here I did the same thing. Just pretty much messing around with stuff. And that's all I really did. So what else we can do is we can pretty much add other kind of like little stocks and what I like doing is going back into the 80s pack and looking around for stuff that you can obviously add and make nice. If you go to backboard they have these like kind of glowing things. I grabbed the meshed one and I brought it straight in and I put it behind my circle. So I put it all the way down and it kind of made something like pop out and glow a lot more. This looked really nice and something I definitely liked. So that's pretty much that. And to finish it off, what you guys can do is just grab right here, go up to the top, go brightness and contrast, bring the contrast up a lot, and then go to hue and saturation, put the hue up, and then you kind of go to exposure and mess with the gamma corrections, the offset, and 
also how bright it is. And then, if you guys want, they do come with CCs, some of these packs. So if you guys just go to the straight to the top, they do have these like CCs you can use. So you just drag them in. You can turn them on, but uh, not a fan of that. Last thing you guys can do, if you guys want, is add your little kind of sponsors inside. So if I go to my quick access, I should have the Red Bull one. So you can pretty much just grab these and put it in the middle. And then just shrink the size up quite a bit actually you don't want it to be too big and then you can go right click on it blending options and drop shadow hit ok and then you guys can grab another one let's say we're just going to grab uh, G2A's logo you can put that the same spot so you want to just pretty much size it up to the same and put it all the way to the side blending options color overlay drop shadow so Basically, this is all you can do. You can do other stuff like adding brushes. If you take a black brush, you guys can brush out the sides and put it on overlay. It's definitely up to you guys how you guys want to take it. Basically, this is how you do a really nice 80s style uh, YouTube banner. I'm going to click back on this one. Actually, I kind of like the one I did before. It's a lot brighter. But uh, basically, this is all you got to do, and it's really easy to do. It only took about 11 minutes, and it looks very clean, very professional. And YouTube banners are also Twitter headers. If you guys do like this tutorial, leave a thumbs up. If you guys want to purchase this instead of making it, there will be a self fi link in the description below to purchase this for a dollar and fifty cents. Basically, all the money that I get from this goes towards my YouTube channel to make more intros and stuff like that. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. If you guys any tutorial suggestions or any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And I hope you see you guys in the next video, and have a nice day. Peace out.